This morning we are broadcasting from Bayview Restaurant and Lounge overlooking Maracas Beach in Trinidad. That's right. With me, my guest this morning is Ashley Maine. Ashley, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Ashley, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a four-year dental student here in Trinidad at UWE. Um, I'm 25 years old. You want to know. <laughs> okay. Um, Ashley is a Belizean that came here to study four oh, yes. years ago, and uh, I would imagine that within that four years you've done a lot, you've experienced a lot. But before we get to that point, tell us how did you choose Trinidad? Um, well, I did my, my bachelor degree um, in the States, and then I was able to get a scholarship to come here from the government. So that's how I ended up here. It was the best option for me. Okay, well, let's go back a little bit because um, a lot of people, when they leave sixth form in Belize, that is when they venture out to find places to go to further their education. Right. Um, and a lot of people are nervous, especially the parents are nervous on how will their children adapt when they get, I mean, gosh, especially if you're an only child and then you're, you're being sent to Trinidad or the States or wherever. What was that transition like for you and your parents? Um, well, it was it was it, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, when I went to, I did my undergrad in New Orleans, and I have um, some family there, so my parents were okay with sending me there. So I did have a support system. I mean, I, I lived on like the hot, the dorm. So you, I mean, you had that sense of community to help you because you're not the only international student there, you know. So it wasn't it was okay. So parents don't need to worry. No. What was your biggest challenge? I think maybe just adjusting to the different way that they teach because I mean in Belize in sixth form you know everybody in your class and so you have like your friends that you could do assignments with and stuff like that but when you get to university um, I feel like at first you en I end up doing like a lot of things on my own like before I made proper friends to do like study groups and stuff so it was more like adjusting to being on your own and trying to gauge it that way. So it's important for you to have some sense of independence before you leave Belize or else you are going to suffer. There's nobody <laughs> out there for you to depend on the first few months. I am sure of that, all right? Yeah. Um, Ashley, when you were in Belize, did you always know what you wanted to study when you got to maybe sixth form or college or? I think I always knew I was, I wanted to be in the medical field. I always liked the sciences and stuff, so it was, it was more just deciding between medicine and, and dentistry. And, and you decided to? To do dentistry. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to ask Ashley this morning to help us out with a little bit of information on how to better care for your teeth and uh, keep that smile white. Um, would you say that then, what is the highest or what is the, the highest cause of decay for young people? Um, definitely their diet. Um, a lot of people just eat very sugary foods um, and then when you you pair that with like bad oral hygiene and then yeah you you end up with the decay and the problems and and stuff like that you know I'm glad that you say what you eat because I think a lot of people feel that if they brush up often enough no matter what you eat but what you eat is just as important as, as care yeah you'd be surprised um, like if you eat more sweet um, and like like tacky types of foods uh, like toffee and those type of things that would stay on your teeth then that makes it worse you know um, it's perfectly fine to eat sweet food if that's what you want you just have to make sure that you're brushing and flossing and but I mean but definitely if you have a lower sugar diet it's you'd be better off for sure lower sugar diet is better off all right yeah. well let me ask you the first, I have to tell you the first things first. Morning Matters is a program where people send in their matters okay. and we help to answer it, right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of a relationship, but it's not only relationship. Um, I would imagine when you left Belize, when you left there, you must have had some form of relationship um, 
you know, in sixth form, you have a boyfriend. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Did you have a boyfriend in sixth form? Yes. And what happened to him? <laughs> Um, I mean, it, it didn't work out, you know, things, you, when, I mean, when you're that young and you're going off to different places, you have different plans in life, and, I mean, for me, that's what I was focused on, no, school, so. And that's important because sometimes people forget their own goals because they want to be with a boy or they want to be with a girl, and they'd say, yeah. oh, you're not going to Trinidad or you're not going to to Indiana to study so um, I will try and get there and if you know they forget their own goals because they want to be with that person forgetting that the world is so I mean time is so much right you don't have to force nothing but you must focus on yourself first for a young person out there that is torn between relationships and their own degrees or their own life goals what would you say to them I think right now at my age or I mean when you're starting college and stuff I think you need to focus on yourself like I feel like that should be your priority because you don't want to end up resenting someone later on if you made your big life decisions based on that person and if it doesn't work out and you know I mean is it fair though that you could resent them because those were your decisions then too true yeah so you really have no reason to resent them but more yourself yeah because if I'm to come to you and I say well actually I'm going to go to Trinidad because you're going to Trinidad but I know that there is a better college for maybe agriculture in in a different country right and but because I want to be with you I come to Trinidad who must I really resent that no that's that's true um, yeah. I just think it depends on your priorities no like well actually Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, these guys are just amazing. Today we have a full, full, full crew. Anybody you want to say hello to who? Uh, my parents, Mary and Ted Amane, and my sister and brother. There you go. You don't have to talk. How many Belizean students do you have uh, studying medicine here, if you can tell us? Medicine? I'm the only one. Um, there's one other clinical psychology student. Oh, perfect. But majority of the students here are for engineering. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And how many Belizeans studying here that you know of? Right now, I'd say about 20. We had more, but a lot of them went home, so right now it's about 20. 20. 20 is good. Yeah. Well, let's jump into some matters. You have any matters of your own you want to discuss? Boy problem, relationship problem, dorm room problem, any? <laughs> How many are you in a dorm? Um, it's just me and one other girl. I recently moved into an apartment, like one of the apartments um, around the hospital complex. How difficult is it to live with somebody? Um, a stranger at that. Well, true, because I didn't know her before. Um, I, I mean, one, it's an adjustment. Like you have to. You, I like once. I like things a certain way. She likes it another way. So I think it's kind of a, a compromise to not have any conflicts. You know, like I don't know if. She wants me to not put dishes in the sink, leave it on the side, then I have to, you know, like, you I, have to do it, that. It's not like, it's not worth fighting over to me, so I don't know. There you go. You know, <laughs> I think it's, it's okay to live with people when you are young, but the older you become, the more difficult it becomes to live with people, especially if you've lived on your own. But I guess when you're in your early 20s, it's okay to live with a roommate and try to figure out the dishes and the toilet and all of that. But when you get 40 years old, you don't want to be bothered with that. Or if you don't like it, to the door, they go about your business. Yeah, I have to make it work. You have to make it work. How much longer do you have here? Uh, two more years. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then you will be Dr. Amin. Yeah. In yeah. one more year, I graduate. And then I have internships. So yeah, one more year. Excellent. I'm going to read a matter for you. Okay. This one, oh. This, okay, this one says, I love all women. I'm married. Okay, we now read that one. I'm not married. This one says, Hi, I have been with this girl from I was 12 and she was 11. One day I moved to Belize City and she went and got 17. This is good Creole, but let me try and start over. It says, Hi, I live with, I've been with this girl for, from I was 12 and she was 11. And one day I moved to Belize City. When she got like 17, she had a kid for another guy. But she went to the States and came back. But the guy beat her one time and nearly killed her. So she met me again and she got to spend two months with me. And I showed her lots of love and treated her the best. But she went back with him. And I want her and I don't want him to beat her. I love her. What am I to do? You could love her like money or cook food or 
anything that you can you can love her love her but if she doesn't love her then you're wasting your time if you don't value her the same way if she doesn't value herself the same way you value her then you're wasting your time yeah and at the same time you can't really force someone to be with you, you know like if someone chooses to be in that situation no matter what you tell them it's up to them to the choice is hers and if she yeah. chooses not to be with you then that is what you can do you can't force it you can't fight it none of that all right that is all you have to do um so let leave the option open for her and give it a, a matter of time and if nothing comes your way within that time then you have to walk away because the same way you love her you have to love yourself and she has to learn to love her and if nobody loving themselves then be another chaotic relationship this one says i keep dreaming that my girl is cheating on me is that a sign or is it just me being insecure I mean, I I feel like if people have doubts like that, there had to have been something that has the person doubting the relationship. Um, I don't know. I feel like intuition is a big part of that. You know, I don't know what dreams are because sometimes I dream that people are chasing me. <laughs> sometimes I don't know if you ever have one of these dreams where you feel like you're running and you're running and you're running and you're not going anywhere. Well, yes, I've had one of those dreams, and I really don't chalk it up to anything. So um I would have to say that it could be your subconscious your own insecurity maybe you feel that she's cheating on you and it could have nothing to do with her it could have to with, to do only with how you see life and how you feel about the relationship you know yeah. unless she's done something to you before to make you say hmm well that's what I mean like if they had had a history of something and they're working it out and then you get doubts again like i mean there had to have been something for you to start to think that you know unless you're crazy well that too <laughs> <laughs> can't rule anything out <laughs> can't rule anything out on that note we're going to take a break and be back seaboard marine a leader in ocean transportation is now offering services to belize offering the fastest and most reliable transit to belize seaboard marine is the number one choice for shipping we offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule. Excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Let's get ready to rumble! Get off. Busta. They see you and know you're living. Busta. Always a star. Yes, you live in color to the limit. Busta. Large and in charge. Busta. Yes, that's why you rock with Busta. Busta. Refreshing range of colorful flavors. Always a star, never the audience. You run things, things never run you. Busta. Yes, you are the life of it. Not just a part of it. Your life is never black and white. Live in full color. Buster. Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10 gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy. Grace Baking Powder. So convenient, easy to store, you love it. It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. From the company who brought you Buendia freeze-dried coffee, Grace, 100% pure Colombian coffee is made in Colombia. 
considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze-dried, Gris 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grace. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Si tu perro es de raza, raza grande o pequeña, dale rambocán, rambocán. Si es delgado o robusto, pelo largo, pelo corto, dale rambocán, rambocán. Rambocán en su presentación para adultos o cachorros. Dale Rambocán para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante, huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes y mejor digestión. Dale lo mejor. Dale Rambocán. Salud y vigor para tu perro. Welcome back to Morning Matters right here at Bayview Restaurant and Lounge in Trinidad. And in Trinidad, that's right, in Trinidad, overlooking Maracas Beach. Ashley in with me this morning. Ashley, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You're good? When are you going back to Belize? Can we go talk to good Creole? Um, I'm going back in December and uh, yeah, for Christmas. How often do you get to go home? Mm, Christmas and summer. I don't get very long breaks now that I'm on clinic, but two weeks to a month sometimes. Okay, what do you think, um, we know that you're studying to be a dentist and in a very short time she's going to be Dr. Main. You know, I'm sure that you're all excited about that. Definitely. But tell older people some of the things or maybe one or two things that they can do to better care for their teeth. Better oral hygiene. I think one of the main things is that um, people don't brush their teeth enough. Like I would say definitely at least two times a day with a fluoride toothpaste. And I mean, most toothpastes now come with fluoride and a Colgate, Crest, any one of those. You know, the brand doesn't matter. Um, a medium or soft toothbrush, because what I've seen a lot too is um, a lot of people tend to think that they have to brush their teeth really, really hard to make sure it's clean. And you don't need to, you know, because people tend to get these big dips in their teeth from wearing away their teeth with their toothbrush. So, I mean, a softer toothbrush for that. Flossing is really important. I know a lot of people don't floss and I mean, I'd say at least once a day. Um, and smoking too. People should stop smoking. Um, that, that's, that's a big part of um, oral problems, you know. Uh, what does smoking do besides make your breath terrible? It, you're more prone to periodontal disease when you smoke, um, oral cancers, those, those are all very real issues that people are faced with. And also too, it affects your, your gums, it, you it, like, get like overgrowth and stuff. But mostly it's for periodontal disease, you know, you get like bone loss and stuff like that. And, and especially that's what happens in older people when they start losing their teeth and... Oh, you look sorry. like that? <laughs> you don't want to look like that? We have dentures for that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Oh, there's a man over there trying to get my attention, like most men. Can't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell it with time. All right, so if you're out there, I hope that some of the things that Ashley just said, uh, you can start to practice. If you have been brushing your teeth one time for the day, at least go up to two times. Three times would be ideal. As soon as you finish a major meal, you're supposed to brush your teeth. All right? Especially send, at night. Especially at night. You know, try and keep your teeth clean. Send your children to school with toothbrush. Instead of giving them that sweet money, buy them a toothbrush. Or right? mouthwash. Or mouthwash. Yeah. Mouthwash really necessary? Um, I think it just make your mouth feel minty. No, well, I would recommend the mouthwashes that have fluoride in it. So, like, if you brush your teeth in the morning and you brush your teeth at night, like, lunchtime, you could just use one of the fluoride mouthwash. I mean... The whole point of, the major point of your brushing your teeth is the, the, the fluoride in the toothpaste. So use your fluoridated mouthwash lunchtime and you'd be good. All right, there you go. Keep that smile white, okay? Mm -hmm. Or else you'll have to get implants. 
No, I have that now. My boyfriend says he loves me, but he's still texting his er ex-girlfriend. What am I to do? What about calling him your ex-boyfriend? I, you know, I don't know why we put ourselves through so much unnecessary stress. If I come to you, Ashley, and I tell you, well, you know, tomorrow I am going to buy you a Hilux because you are a bright student and you've done so well. And tomorrow come and I don't buy you the Hilux. And I don't give you... And next week come and I don't buy you the Hilux. Don't you think I'm just talking? Yeah. Before you know it, one year will pass and you don't get the Hilux because I'm just talking. So if the man say to you that he loves you, and he's doing things to show you that he's not fully committed to you. Who must you believe? I mean, actions speak louder than words. Yes, he might. I'm not saying that he doesn't have any love for you. I'm not saying that he's not taken with you in some way. But I'm saying that he's not fully committed to you. Because if he was fully committed to you, he wouldn't find time for these distractions. I mean, at the same time, it could... if. I mean, I think it depends on like the level of trust you have with the person that you're with. Because... I mean, I know in some instances the person, they could just be friends. I mean, if they ended on good terms and they're friends after the fact, then I don't think it necessarily has to be a problem. But, that, but I mean, but that varies for each relationship. No? And it depends on if it is open. Like, if I can, if my partner can know that I am texting Tom Jones and it's, it's not, I don't have to hide the text Tom Jones. Right. But if I have to hide the text Tom Jones, then something not wrong. Not, not right. Yeah, once you have to hide it, then... Morning, I have a boyfriend, but I love another female more. Oh. So you're bisexual? Oh, that's the whole matter. <laughs> that's the whole matter. I mean, that person sounds a bit confused now. Or not wanting to embrace. If, if you know you love someone more, then why are you with this guy I think sometimes people feel pressured by society in many things in their sexuality in the way they live in the way they dress in the way they speak um, but I say be your truest self and be honest with yourself I am not gonna sit here and tell you which side of the fence to choose or to walk the line in the middle or whatever but yeah. whatever it is that you choose make sure you are happy with it make sure that you can defend that position very well if you can't defend that position very well and you are not happy with it then you have not made a good choice and at the end of the day it's your life I mean you want to be happy you have to do what you can for that to happen exactly maybe you're in a place where you're exploring your sexuality and um, as such that is where you find yourself yeah and I think people are becoming more open-minded to things nowadays anyway it's not so taboo I would say I mean but, embrace your who you are but whichever side you choose to be on stay there you can't keep <laughs> that is my only problem with it you can't keep going back and forth and back and forth you have to find one side of the fence and stick there in the meantime maybe you can you know, but you have to be open and honest. The man that thinks that he's your boyfriend, you need to say to him, you know, I'm interested in girls as well. And everybody needs to know where they stand and what they're getting into. That's like having a man that is swinging. Yeah. That's, if I have a man that is seeing other men, I would like to know. But I think at the same time, if you're telling people to, like, if you like girls, if you like guys, then be who you are. But, I mean, if they like both, like, who, who are you to say choose one side I don't know well, maybe that, that's you, my take on it at you, least you are right but if okay if you like both sides then the man that you are with should know that right okay yeah well being open is important yes he needs to know that he needs to know that it's not just him yeah that there will be a girl sure. filling in for him sometime <laughs> as crazy as that song so that, you have to tell him that sounds like drama <laughs> it sounds like a little drama and my recommendation is to choose a side but like <laughs> Ashley said if you don't want to choose a side and you just want to play on both sides occasionally you want to go to this neighbor no want to go to that neighbor no then so be it but all the neighbors must know who you're playing with <laughs> you know the rules of the game very important it would be nice why do you think so many people are so afraid to be them be themselves I think it's just our society on a whole, it's just very close-minded, a lot of people are very religious. Um, I, I mean, life probably just is just easier if you stick to the social norms, not have to go through all the other stress of trying to be who you are, so I mean, I mean, even if you don't want to admit it, even when you see certain things you do, like, you have a, like, preconception about it. So, I mean, people try to avoid that, I guess. Very much so. Right? Do you find that the society is similar here to home? 
or you find more freedom and flexibility here? I think, I mean, I know in Belize right now there's a lot of controversy over that topic, but I still feel like it's a little bit more accepted in Belize, whereas here, I feel like there's more like hate talk towards the people. No, I don't mean to the people, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I do think it's a little bit worse here. The, the culture is less accepting than Belize, who already isn't very accepting. They don't have, they have low tolerance for that? Yes, exactly. Well, they're going to have a problem because they have, what, almost 1.3 million people? And I'm yeah. sure that they're not all straight people. No. <laughs> people are trying to be something yeah. else, yeah. This one says, please just say shout out to my dear cousin Diana Smith and her son Kadim from Marie Lou. Well, good morning to you, Dee. <laughs> This one says, good morning. I live with my boyfriend for 11 years and my family don't want me with him. But he gives me everything I want and I have two children for him and his family don't like me as well. What am I supposed to do? I mean, that's a sticky situation because it's having to choose the person that you love over, like having to choose between your family and his family and the person that you want to be with. I don't think that's a situation anybody wants to be in, you know? You'd... But don't you think that she has chosen 11 years ago when she stayed for 11 years with a man, made two children with him? I don't see what the problem is now. Yeah. She's, this is not new. It's not like she started dating this man and then now all of a sudden things get complicated. She's been in it for 11 years and two children later. I would say don't pay attention to nobody. The family that's most important to you at this point in time has to be the one that you have created with the father of your child and your two children. Everything else comes after that. And I think she knows that because that's what she chose. That is exactly. That is what you have chosen and that is what you continue to do. Don't worry about your mother-in-law or your mother for that matter. That Hopefully her fun. family will come around. I mean, if it's been 11 years and they haven't come around, I don't really know what you could do at this point in time. Nothing yeah. other than wait and please allow your children access to their grandparents because it's important for people, for children to know where they came from. Even if they don't like you, it's important that you allow them to go to their grandparents or their yeah, aunts or true. their uncles because the way they treat them might be a little different from how they treat you. Yeah, and they, they still want their, they still need to know who their family is. Exactly. They need to know why you don't like them on this <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. This one says, I love the show today. Well, thank you. Okay, here's my matter. I left my ex for six years. He misses me. But he wants me on the side. Oh. 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 You left your ex six years ago. He misses you, but he wants you on the side. Why would you want to be somebody's part-time... I mean, if it didn't work six years ago, I think you'd have to... I, I compare it to like being, you have a home, right? And you are, you are the wife, you are the person that owns this home and you're married to Tom Jones. And Tom Jones puts you out and you pick up the maid, the lady that used to be the maid. Now you turn into the maid and she turn into the boss. Why on earth would you want that? Why would you choose? No, definitely not. Why would you choose to put yourself in a place that is far below your own standard no the answer is no it don't matter what he wants it's what you want and you have to know your worth and live to it yeah that's don't, it don't don't lower your standards like that you absolutely. you know what you deserve exactly and only you know that yeah all right i know morning matters um well not morning matters is winding down but your segment here has i'm sure you have other things to do it's early in the morning you probably want to go grab your coffee <laughs> um i have to say thank you for stopping in with us this morning thank you for um sharing with us a little bit for a student out there that's a little bit nervous on what to do and they're making that big step what would you say to him or her well to prepare yourself i'd say just make sure you have all your research done know where you're going know what your living situation is going to be have your finances sorted out because especially when you're in a new country and you're sent there by yourself i mean you need to have those things figured out you have to work on a budget, you can't be drinking no, your no, money No, no, definitely time. you have to like be on a budget, you have to be responsible. It's only money done, you done. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 
Ashley, thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to leave us with before you go? Thanks for having me. It was fun. Um, no, I, I, thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you. We're going to take a break and come back with our third and final segment. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chill cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. I know you're living Bust. Always a star Yes You live in color to the limit Bust. Large and in charge <laughs> Yes That's why you rock with Buster Bust. Refreshing range of colorful flavors Always a star Never the audience You run things Things never run you Bust. Yes You are The life of it Not just a part of it Your life is never black and white Live in full color Buster Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10 gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy. Grace Baking Powder. So convenient, easy to store, you love it. It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace. Bringing good taste to life. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dry Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia, considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze dried, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Si tu perro es de raza, raza grande o pequeña, dale rambocan, rambocan. Si es delgado o robusto, pelo largo, pelo corto, dale rambocan, rambocan. Rambocan en su presentación para adultos o cachorros. Dale Rambocan para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante, huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes y mejor digestión. Dale lo mejor. Dale Rambocan. Salud y vigor para tu perro. Final segment of Morning Matters right here from Bayview Restaurant and Lounge. It's a beautiful spot. It really is. That's one of the pleasures of this job. We get to go to the most beautiful places, a wonderful beach in the background, a little fishing village down below us. You notice the difference with here and maybe Belize? When the rain came, those people didn't move, you know. 
That's true. They all stayed out there. They were in the water, yeah. Nobody they moved. Were. It might have been hundreds of them and they just stayed right there. Which, you're gonna be wet anyway. What's the water matter? Any matter to your own? Am I am matterless again today. You are matterless again today? So Perfect. That means you're living a good Perfect. life. How have you been enjoying your trip here? How did you like the ride up here? It was good. I have to say that Alim, Abdul, Sheikha, <laughs> Sheikh. He did well. He did well. Him and Melissa, they've been doing awesome. You can't beat the company here. I tell you. That's right. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. It's not often I get to see you in a dress. It's not often you get to see me half naked. You're not half naked. You're just like a quarter naked. I'm glad you didn't respond in another way. No. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. <coughs> Take your time. Put this in your pocket. Okay. All right. Since oh. you don't have any matters, it's time for us to jump into some people's matters. You know, I've heard they got like 14 foot waves out here sometimes. That'd be great surfing. Maybe one day before we go back, we'll go up there and have a look. Maybe it's going to be like a really, really hot day. This you, one You're going to get on a surfboard? You're trying to get rid of me. There are other ways to get rid of me. That's not going to be one of them. I have my girlfriend, but I'm seeing other girls. She found out and left me. I love her. Not the others. What am I to do? It's risk and reward. What do you expect? The price you pay? You think she's gonna find out and love you more? Come on. <laughs> Although some girls are like that, I think. They, they feel a little competition, so they step up their game. They don't leave, they step up their game. They wanna win. And you know, that is so funny about what you're winning. You're winning a bag, a bag of nothing. I, yeah, I'm thinking, and then once they win the prize, it's like, I don't want you. It's not a prize. Not that it's ever happened to me. But it's not a prize. That is what people need to realize out there. It's not a prize. You're not winning nothing. I that's agree. Like, that's like somebody leaving a bag of garbage in the back of their truck. Right? No, no, no. Yes, no, yes, no. yes, 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 no, yes, no. yes, 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 yes. And then they put one, one, maybe one something in it now that's kind of attractive. You know, like on top, just to lure you there. And everybody starts vying for it. Now when they win it, they realize it's a bag of garbage. It's the same thing with the cheating man. It's useless. You know, it has a little bit of good in it, but the rest of it is garbage. Don't vie for it. You don't need to compete for it. Really? Really. I don't think so. So you think it's more good in it than bad? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But a bag of garbage? Come on. His behavior is uh, senseless. Me, give me a minute. I'll think of a better analogy. You think we have that time? The show will be done before you come up with that. All right. Oh, gosh. You have more? Well, we always have matters. I've been married 19 years and I've never cheated. Thought we, thought we were keeping our marriage exciting because we had threesomes all the time. Good. But only with another woman. So I have always been seeing my husband having sex with other women. But I've never been with another man. My husband walked out eight months ago and it took me a while to get over him. But now that I have found a guy who is much better in bed and I'm doing great, now my husband wants to take me up. <laughs> Why are men like this? I don't want him back at all, especially uh, now that I realize how the good sex that I was missing. I told him, but he doesn't want to leave me alone. Yeah, if that's the way you feel, stand your ground. Get the restraining orders. The restraining rest orders. You know, we need to do this in front of a live crowd, I think. I think that she just talking. You don't think her story is true? Her story is true. Like, but you when, think she's bragging? No, 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 no. She just wanted to brag? No. She is allowing the man to be in her space. She likes it still to some degree. She likes degree. the attention. She likes the attention still because if she didn't, the man couldn't get near her. True. The man couldn't get near her to make no, to get in her space. True. I mean, if you put your foot down and absolutely have no response and ignore everything that's done, they'll go away. You know, when they get a reaction, they get some feedback, they get some conversation going, That they're going to keep doing it. Cut it off. Exactly, cut it off like a bad limb. You know, even when you see plants, you know, if you're cooking a tree growing and one of the limb then die, you take it off because it's, it's useless. That's how you must treat him. Okay. And it's not that men are like that, it's people are like that. 
people sometimes don't realize what they have until it's too late they need to suffer the sense of loss and um once once that happens you can't you can't continue to play that game because when they get you back it's been 19 years of him treating you like that and wait 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 give me a chance is it okay if i finish this the method before i jump she on didn't me? say she treated him bad wait. no i didn't say that i didn't you say she jump bad. on the man tranquilo you did. I said treating him like that. She Meaning said she had a lively sex life with threesomes. Now you say he treated her bad. The way that you are living for 19 years. Could the, be. The she man still behind the has, camera yeah. says. The cameraman. The cameraman says that he thinks that she stayed in the relationship for 19 years. She loves the man. But the new excitement that she finds, she likes that too. True. But she wants Because she always saw her man with another woman. So now she wants She never got another man. She wants man. to know how to marry both of them. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it. You could make it a foursome. You you can make it a full swinging relationship. But I really don't think that those things are healthy, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, you live a a, a I think to each life his for, own. For, for 19 years, you're okay. Yeah, but I don't appreciate you saying he treated you for 19 years. She didn't complain about the 19 years. But I didn't say it was treatment. The treatment was bad. Oh, no, that's what you insinuated. That is what I, I'm not responsible for what you understand. I'm responsible for what I say. You are. Okay. All right. All right. Skirt the edges. It's okay. Split hairs. She can split hairs. She has what? A big heart. A big heart. Big heart. Big heart. Oh, she has, she has a big heart? Yes. She has a big heart? She has not big enough. <laughs> no, but it is. She don't have a stone heart, a big heart, because to have a loud... I think she's husband, just bragging. To have a tree summon for his benefit. Only for, for 19 so years. years. She loves the man. She loves the man. More correct. than she loves herself. Yes, correct. I absolutely agree. I think she's bragging. What no, is there to brag bragging. about? Her threesome. But she don't benefit from the threesome. Ooh, we got Dr. Fly on your show. She don't benefit from the threesome. It's only him that benefit. You don't think she has any visual stimulation from that? I'd have to say no. No? None at all. <laughs> okay. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe she's yeah. by. This is a beautiful spot though. I like the clouds and the hills and I can't wait to go to Tobago. You can't what? stay tuned, we're gonna be to Tobago before you know it. You're gonna take me to Tobago? Be looking for it. We will. We'll take the water taxi over. How long does the water taxi take? Two minutes? Two hours. Two hours. We can do a show. I was on the thinking boat. forty-five minutes. We'll have to do a show on the boat on the way there. We did that in uh, we went from Argentina to Uruguay. We did a show on the ship going over there. That was fun. I'm glad you take me to nice places, Rhonda. Thank, Thank you. God. I can't wait to get down on the beach. Okay. Okay. You find another one? This one says, I've been, I'm, I'm with my husband for 15 years. He always has a problem with me working. I am working for four years now at a resort. I really like my job. It's a nice job. My kids and I need the extra things. His money only comes from hand to mouth. But he doesn't like the fact that I have my own money. And that is becoming a problem. What am I to do? You know, I personally appreciate a woman that has her own money. But I know there's some men that they want that sense of control. They want to be able to dictate where you go and what you do and how you spend your money. And if they're the ones dishing the money out, they're the ones that can. Well, and I agree with so that. So why, why wouldn't you want her to have her own money? No, I agree the fact, I agree that she needs to keep your independence, you need to keep your job. But the same way that his money is company money, your money is company money. That is how it should be. That is the only thing that I think needs to, to be straightened there. None of it is because he works. He, he can't say that's his money. That's everybody's money. That's the company's money, like the home money. I think so. I think because you're working for one common goal, money is important in a relationship. True. Right? And if you are the primary 
caregiver or I don't agree necessarily the 50-50 but there's some sharing involved you know, I mean whatever it is your sharing arrangement but is you have to if, if it is a marriage thing and a you know togetherness you got to give her portion to do with as she pleases and if she wants to go out and make her own money in her own way I think it should okay. be, she should support it because I think that like I always say if you fall down sick today you want somebody in your life that can help you up that can make sure your son eat if you fall down sick today and you don't have a job who's gonna mind your son if your wife did not work it's true all right so st stop fighting with the woman and you as the woman maybe what you need to do is maybe you know sometimes with us as women when we get a little independence we really overdo it you know we come back in the house now thinking we wear the pants. Thinking you're the king of the house. No, I am boss in this house. I'm making my own money. You can't tell me what to do. So that might be some of the problem. Maybe you need to tame your attitude just a little bit. Because even though you might be bringing in the same amount of money as him, or maybe more money than him, it's not worth the hassle. That's true. Check yourself. It may be your attitude. It may yeah. not be you making money. It may be your attitude. It might be the way you behave now that you're making money. Not the money that you're making. You know, that, oh, you can't tell me what to do now, I'm going to go do this. No, 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 no. You still have to have community spirit in the house, in the home. I agree. Oh, but morning matters is winding down, Drew. Can we hit the beach now? We can certainly try to hit oh, the beach. Oh, we've been corrected. It's a three-hour boat ride to Tobago. It's three-hour boat ride to Tobago. We well, get two shows in. We are going to give it our best shot on our way to Tobago. But um, it's a beautiful day here. We can't afford to come dress for the beach and not go to the beach. So, um... We're going to get ourselves ready to go to the beach. Should bring a surfboard? Nope, I brought my beach dress. That should be enough. How's that? And you're looking stunning, I might say. Well, thank you, Mr. Drew. You're looking your usual self. All sweaty and... I'm just it's because I've been working. You're a working man. You definitely are a working man. I have man. to earn my keep. You know what I like about this country? What? They bring sexy back. They bring the sexy back? The girls in this country bring sexy back. Ah. Look around. Just look around. They all bring sexy back and they have attitude to go with it. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we'll give them that brilliant piece of photography. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We have to say, um, thank <laughs> you, you don't for making see Morning Matters a part of your morning this morning. We definitely have to uh, encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time, this is Ronda Crichton along with... Drew. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.